okay, one of my Facebook students actually asked me how to how to like uh, solve this question. So obviously this question if you are the SPM MX student you know actually this question is, is about the linear law. Alright. So for this question, okay, I only will teach teach you how to solve the equation in this video. So I'm not going to teach you how to sketch the graph, how to find a constant. Alright. So basically it's very simple. So of course you must understand uh, this equation first. So let me write the equation down. Okay, we got the equation something like we got y x power of uh see I can't see the word. I think it's x power of uh n yeah equal to c. Okay, so from here actually you will see something very useful is we ask you plot the graph log x again uh, log y again log x. So this information is very helpful because of what? Because you know that if you're going to draw the graph later, let's say you got both acid x and y. So this one will be the log 10 y and this one will be the log 10 x. So because of this formula, I know linear law we have to make this one become the linear equation. So what is the linear equation? Linear equation is y equals to mx plus c, isn't it? So from here, I know my y actually is log 10y. And then I know my x will going to be log 10x and then plus c. Obviously m and c is a constant. So it basically gives me some idea is this is my y and this is my x. So now my objective is, is I want to do some I want to change this equation into this form. Alright. Obviously my M and C later will maybe will become the N and C over here. Okay, so how to do like this? Because I must have the log 10 correct. Now. So what I will do is the first step I add the log 10 for both sides. So I add log 10 for both sides. So you can see here will become y x power n equals to log 10 c. Alright, and then the log rule tell us that the multiple, when you expand it, it will become plus. So this one will become log 10 y plus log 10 x power n equals to log 10 c. Oops, sorry. Log 10 c. Alright, then what we need to do is, okay, we roughly got the idea already. Now we got log 10 y as a y. Okay, but then y equals mx plus c. So I know I have to move this one to the other side. So I'm going to do something like this. Let me change some other color. Okay, this is log 10 y. Okay, this is my y. Equals to, I move this one to the other side, become negative. Log 10 x power of n equals, um, okay, sorry, is plus log 10 c. Alright, then log 2 also tell us that the n actually we can move in front become multiple isn't it so this is log 10 y equals to negative n log 10 x plus log 10 c right then you can straight away compare whatever i have here with here so we know this one is y and this one is x so obviously negative n will be my m and then the whole thing over here is c so therefore later if the question asks you to like estimate n and c so that means from your graph if you got the straight line something like this you just find the gra gradient of the straight line equals to negative n because negative n is is the gra is the gradient is the m all right and then you're going to ask you to find c so what you what you need to do is later maybe this straight line you pass through uh, here, let's say it's 2 point something, let's say 2.2. .2. What you need to do is, because it asks you to find C, right? So, you know here is log 10 C equals to 2.2. .2. Because when you cut here, this one is Y intercept, right? Y intercept is C. So, what you need to do is, you will make C equals to 10 power of 2.2. .2. Obviously, 2.2 .2 is just a random number. I just, uh, I just simply put, give you some idea how to find.
Because a lot of students straight away see this is 2.2, then they, will, they might think that this question is so simple, C is equal to 2.2, but then you forget about this vertical acid actually is log 10. So 2.2 over here is the log 10 C, it's not C. So you when you find C, you have to move the log 10 to the other side, become 10 power of 2.2. So you press calculator, you got 100 something. Alright, I hope this will give you give you some ideas how to uh, how to form the equation uh, of the linear model. Okay, anyways, thanks for watching.